I was gonna start this concert review, but I leaned against my Eve spout right here, and I was leaning against that, and I realized that it's covered in like a hundred baby spiders. So now I am gonna go take a shower, another one, even though I just showered. Then maybe I'll start this. I don't know. I'm covered in baby spiders. I'm freaking out right now. Okay, we're gonna take a quick shower, Nikki. Okay, welcome to Shadow Rock. I am your host, Alex, and I am covered in fucking baby spiders right now. So even though I just took a shower maybe two hours ago, I'm gonna take another one, and I'm gonna just. Do the review while I'm doing that. This is a concert review for October 2nd at Game in Iowa City, Iowa. <laughs> on a Sunday. And the show was Letters from the Fire and Art of Dying. Letters from the Fire is made up of Alexa, vocals, Mike, guitar, Cameron, guitar, Clayton, bass, and Brian, drums. Oh, it's so hot. And they're from San Francisco, California, in the Bay Area. They have a new album out, and it is called Worth the Pain. Worth the Pain of taking another extremely hot shower because I'm covered in fucking baby spiders. And they have a new music video out. It's for their new single, Give In To Me. I've seen them maybe four times now. The last time I saw them was on their acoustic tour with Saving Abel. The band is made up of Johnny, vocals, Tavis, guitar, Kale, bass, and Cody, drums. But the band used to be Johnny, Tavis, Kale, Greg, and Jeff. Hold on. Okay, they have a new EP out, it's called Nevermore, and I will have a review on that so there'll be more details about the band itself and the CD. Hopefully by that time, their new music video for their new single, Torn Down, will be out. For some reason during the interview, I totally blanked on the name of the single for some fucking reason. I'm smart, it's alright. But they have a new lyric video out. I won't get lost in the silent screams that fall. Clowns, now it's spiders. What the fuck? Well, now I don't feel as gross. As I said, the show took place at Gabe's in Iowa City, Iowa. This is the first time I've seen Art of Dying in three and a half years. I was pretty excited. I don't know if you could tell from the interview. Nikki, do you want to go outside? I'm not leaning up against that ever again. Fuck. Let's start out with the crowd, because you know that's something I'm gonna bitch about. I would have loved to have this show in Iowa City when I lived there, but there was like nobody at the show, and there was even local bands playing at the show. It was basically dead, and I was super depressed because Art of Dying is one of my favorite bands to see live. They are always amazing. I've never been disappointed at their show except for when there's low turnout. Gabe's lighting, your lighting is fucking pathetic. Hire me so I can fix your lights. Just give me a fixed amount of money, I guarantee you I can get the lights that you need. Just saying. Especially on the drummers. The poor fucking drummers are never well lit. Why are drummers never well lit? Because Cody had no front light whatsoever. I was lucky if I got one picture of him. Yeah, I barely got that, so... Sorry, Cody. Have you heard the stories about the clowns being in the cornfields and shit? One was spotted near Des Moines, tried to chase somebody's car. Well, I keep hearing shit in the cornfield. Now I'm all paranoid. First it's spiders, now I'm paranoid about clowns. Good God. This review is a mess. Let's start out. Letters from the Fire. This is the first time I've seen them. I was really excited to actually be able to see them. I was hoping to actually buy their CD after the show, but they left before Art of Dying was done. That kind of sucked. Their new single, Give In To Me, is just phenomenal. Expected it to be be just as phenomenal live as it was. And they had a headlining show the next day, which I didn't know about, which I would have loved to cover as well. So the next time they're in town, hopefully they'll be headlining and I'll be able to give them the coverage that they need and do interviews for them. That's better than the Art of Dying one. Oh my God. <clears throat> Their set was amazing. I would love to see them with a bigger crowd, even with the shit crowd that they had that was nowhere near the stage at the time. So I actually had room to take pictures, which was 
nice. There's the demon pole. It would be nice to see how they react with a bigger crowd. Their stage presence during that was amazing. They moved, mm. Jesus Christ, like Mad Men, especially Cameron, Clayton, and Mike. They moved like crazy and that's really appreciated. I enjoy that because you get better pictures that way. The cool one of Mike I got, he was kind of flipping me off and screaming, so that was fun. He shared that, thanks. Their show was great. I would suggest seeing them if you can. Hopefully there'll be bigger crowds when you see them, unlike when I saw them. And now, let's go to Art of Dying, which I've already said what I think about Art of Dying. I was a little worried going into the show because, as you can tell, I had really high expectations on what I think Art of Dying is. I've met them so many times before this. Thank God they didn't recognize me before the interview because I was a dumbass the first time we met. Yay! I had high expectations of what my pictures should be. I got a lot of Tavis that look good. I hadn't seen them without Greg and Jeff. Cody had been their drum tech for five years. I had met him before, but I'd never actually seen him drum, so I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't heard anything negative about missing out with Greg and without Jeff. I was a little worried, but as soon as they started, it's still the same old art of dying. I have one problem with Johnny, though. All right, this is my one problem with Johnny. He asked the audience to sing. He held out the mic and it was in my face. I sound like a cat getting ran over by a truck. I don't sing, it's not my thing when people can actually hear me, especially people who have amazing voices. And all of the guys in the band now do vocals. It added that other dimension to the songs themselves. Hey, look, I have a spider bite. Fuck. They play best I can acoustic halfway through the set. It is just gorgeous. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. You can really hear the three-part harmony and it is just like an angelic hard rock choir. Absolutely beautiful. I was really disappointed that they didn't have enough people there. So I made sure to buy the most expensive piece of merch. Tell me if this is stupid or not. I would like to do a promotion or something for the bands that I cover by doing boudoir shoots, but with their merch. I don't have a bra on today. Like my Cage 9 shirt, which I'm wearing. Do something sexy with that. I think it would work, and I think with Art of Dying's new zip-up hoodie, I think that would work really well. And now I'm just really off track again. God damn it, those spiders have thrown me off so much today. <laughs> my dog's sitting there looking at me like I'm a dumbass. Look at that. Hi, Nikki. I think I made my point that I really liked Letters from the Fire. I thought it was great. I would like to see what they would be like headlining. If you get the chance, check them out. And then Art of Dying, I don't even think I need to reiterate how much I like those guys. I will be doing an album review for Art of Dying after this. So there you'll get more information on the band itself and less of how much I love them. Good God, I'm weird today. That's it for a shot of rock. I am your host, Alex. This has been my concert review for the October second Letters from the Fire and Art of Dying show at Gabe's in Iowa City, Iowa. And we'll see you at the Rock Show.